The primary focus of Water Utilities is to provide safe and reliable drinking water to its customers. To achieve this, drinking water is subjected to thousands of tests and a variety of treatment processes. Quality reports are provided to customers annually. To ensure the water is safe to drink, water utility companies screen for a variety of contaminants, such as coliform bacteria. While the concern is pathogenic microorganisms, the current day technology does not enable us to measure these pathogens directly. Instead, the water is analyzed for the presence of coliform bacteria. There are about 100 different species of coliforms known collectively as the total coliform group, many of which live in the intestines of warm-blooded animals. These are called the fecal coliforms, and the most common fecal coliform in the human intestine is E. coli. While the coliforms are generally harmless, their presence in water indicates possible fecal contamination and thus the possible presence of pathogens. Their absence is strong evidence that fecal contamination is not present and that the water is pathogen free. Water utilities are required to use any one of the three methods approved by the United States Environmental Protection Agency for detecting the presence of coliforms in drinking water. Call alert, membrane filtration, and multiple tube fermentation. Call alert is the newest of these three methods and has been used to determine the safety of water supplies for over 20 years. In this simple method, we look for color changes in our test vial to determine if total coliforms and or E. coli are present in a water sample. The analysis begins by carefully adding a 100 milliliter sample of water into a pre-sterilized test vial purchased directly from the manufacturer. This vial also contains the dechlorinating chemical sodium thiosulfate, which removes any traces of chlorine or chloramine residual from the sample. This practice reduces the possibility of false negative results in this analysis. Once the sample is transported to the laboratory, the sample vial is reopened and a pre-measured amount of the Collalert growth media, MMOMUG, is added to the vial. The vial is then reclosed, thoroughly shaken, and placed in an incubator. The MMOMUG is a combination of two color indicator chemicals and a food supply for any microorganisms that may be present in the sample. The incubator is a laboratory device that provides a dark, constant temperature environment. The temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, approximately human body temperature. Together with the supply of food and water, the incubator is an ideal growth environment for the coliform bacteria. In this environment, the bacteria will reproduce at a rate so as to double the population every 20 minutes. This means that a single coliform bacterium could give rise to a population of millions in less than a day. After 24 hours of incubation, we inspect the test vials looking for a yellow color. The MMO in the MMOMUG will turn yellow in the presence of total coliforms. In drinking water samples, this should be rare in less than 5% of samples analyzed. If a sample vial's contents are colorless, the test is negative for total coliforms. If a yellow color is evident, the sample is positive for total coliforms. In this case, we also need to determine if the more critical fecal coliforms are present. The MUG portion of the MMOMUG is a special ingredient that will fluoresce bright blue under an ultraviolet lamp if the most common fecal coliform, E. coli, is present. To make this determination, we take the same unopened vial that produced a yellow color with the MMO and place it under a UV lamp. No blue color means the sample is positive only for total coliforms and negative for E. coli. If the blue color is evident, the sample is not only positive for total coliforms, but for the more critical E. coli as well. This could lead to what is called an acute violation of the total coliform rule. For over 20 years, the call alert analysis has been used to determine, is the water safe to drink? Samples that have negative results for total coliforms in this analysis 
are free from fecal contamination and thus free from pathogens.